Greetings, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. Hope you enjoyed your uh, long Thanksgiving holiday. I'm just finishing watching the last uh, football game myself. Uh, back to work we go on Monday. Anyways, we have a request for some help. Uh, this is uh, Kaplan QID 1282940. Again, all you need to do is send me the QID. You don't have to cut and paste or do any of that stuff. Uh, tips, I can't imagine any draw in which you're not going to get asked about a tip. Treasury inflation protected security. A tips bond has a coupon of three. Over a two-year period, the annual inflation has been 4.5%. So the first test issue here that we need to know is that that 4.5% is going to be paid like a bond semi-annually. So the adjustment to the principal is going to be semi-annually. So the first thing we got to do is say, okay, well, that's going to be 4.5%, but since it's going to be semi-annually, what we're really talking about is half that, which is going to be 2.25 as an adjustment. You know, the tip's uh, very much a suitability question. will keep pace with inflation, uh, the CPI. Anyway, so there's a couple ways to proceed. One thing they're testing you on here is, do you understand this thing compounds? So I wouldn't, you know, anytime I do a question, I'm going to first look and say, is there a shortcut out of the question without doing a bunch of math? And the shortcut I would have taken is to say, well, uh, it's four and a half percent. That's $45 adjustment to the principal two times. That's 1,090. But since it's compounding, meaning we're going to do it the first time, then the second time, that number is going to be going up as we keep compounding it. So it's got to be something north of 1,090. And then what I would do is shop my answer set and see if perhaps there isn't an answer available to me that's more than 1,090. If there's two, unlikely, but if there's two that are more than 1,090, then I might have to settle in to do some math. So the, the way we're going to do the math is we're going to take the principal value, because remember, that's what's going to be adjusted, and we're going to times that by 102.25%. And so that's going to be the first adjustment. So if we take 1,000 and we times it by 102.25%. We're going to find out at the end of that uh, first adjustment, it would be 1,000. Let me just do that again. 1,000 times 102.25% equals, that's going to be 1,000, uh, 2250. Okay, so then the next time, remember, we're going to do that again. So that's my first adjustment here because of my second adjustment. So my second adjustment, remember, I'm going to do it four times because two years and we do it semi-annually. So now I'm going to take the 1,000, 2250. Again, I'm going to times it by the adjusted amount, which is going to be 102.25%. That's going to be our adjustment because we're adjusting. You could do the two and a half or two point, uh, two and a quarter, and I think it would still work out mathematically, but now I'm going to do that times 102.25%, uh, and I get uh, now the adjustment of that second period is 1,045.50. That's my second, so that's that first year at 4.5%, the adjustment I've made. Whoop. And then I'm going to uh, make my third adjustment, right? I'm making four adjustments. So 1,045.50 times 102.25%. So 1,045.50 times 102.25%. And I get 1,069. Uh, 1,069.02. So that's my third adjustment. And then I'm going to make my last adjustment, right? So my last adjustment is going to be 1,069.02 times 102.25%. And, uh, you know, I'm not being too... The rounding is going to make a big a difference on this, but... Uh, Oop, let's go back again. I got to take my 1,069.02. Oh, 
times 102.25%. And let's see what that is. So we do that 1069.02 times 102 times 102.25 equals. So I'm looking for, I got 1097 when I round up. Uh, let's see, just doing this one more time, 1,069.02. Again, I just think it's easier, and I'll, I'll review this in just a sec. 0.102.25. So 1,093.07. And so now I'm just going to be looking for something that approximates my LED display. You know, uh, whatever's the closest to my LED display, I'm going to take that. And that's assuming I'm uh, not rounding up. So uh, let's just review here. We said one way to proceed. You definitely need to know it's going to keep pace with inflation. So that is definitely testable. This untoomed their suitability. And then the second test question is not so much can you do this math. I think it's very low probability you're going to have to do the math. But you do understand the adjustment is done semi-annually. It compounds. So by way of review, we're going to take that 4.5%. By the way, I told you what I would have done as a test taker is just look for something north of 1,090. But anyways, we're going to take that 4.5% uh, because we're going to compound it and we're going to do it semi-annually and we're going to now adjust it semi-annually. So two years means four adjustments. So there's our first after the first six months, our adjustment. There's our adjustment after the second uh, six months. Remember, that's a two and a half percent or 102.25 percent of par. But remember, par has been adjusted. It's not going to be two and a half, a two and a quarter on the thousand. It's going to be a two and a quarter on the new principal value. There's our third adjustment. There's our last adjustment. And so let's see what answers are available to us. So boom, let's do the reveal. Uh, there we go. Uh, like I said, I didn't round on mine. I didn't, you know, wasn't too careful about the rounding. If I did it again and rounded a five to the six, you know, it would come out. That'd be that. So there we go. And then, uh, you know, the guy in charge of this, I guess uh, the test taker didn't like this rationale. So let's just go over the rationale real quickly. Let me clean up my screen here. Uh, tips bonds have special feature of adjusting the principal every six months. That is testable. That's called compounding. It's going to compound by the inflation rate. So with an annual rate of four and a half percent, the adjustment is half that two and a quarter semi-annually. There are two ways to solve this. One is to take the calculator. I terrible at arithmetic. I hate math. So I told you I'm just a test taker. I'm going to always look for some kind of a shortcut, some kind of hack that gets me the answer without doing the math. So as I told you, what I would have done is said, I'm looking for something north of 1,090 because of the compounding. I think the test taker chose 1,090. So it would have worked had you just taken 1,090. So it's got to be a little more than that. Uh, then the other way to do it, I just showed you the long way as well. You do that two more times. So four adjustments, that's what I showed you. Uh, faster ways just to take simple interest, not compounding interest, and say that's 90 for two years, and then take the next highest. So anyways, hope that was helpful. I uh, hope you enjoyed your holiday. Remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. Just uh, send any QIDs. We'll help you with any question from any test, prim, test, prim, trap, blah, 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 test prep vendor. It's just easier if it's Kaplan. If you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank and you would like that as a paid supplement, I highly recommend it. With my Guru 10 discount code, you can get a Kaplan Q Bank for about 60 bucks. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on uh, Kaplan content. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.